protests held in the village of Pearl St. Andrew sought to promote vaccination and educate farmers and animal owners to break the cycle of one of the world's oldest diseases. We're trying to bring across the message and sensitize the public the importance of rabies. Rabies is a deadly virus endemic to Grenada and so we at the Ministry of Agriculture is taking up on our taking up the role, trying to help farmers alike as pet owners in vaccinating the animal against this deadly disease. That was Tara Brizan, the Ministry of Agriculture's representative. Senior Environmental Health Officer Kenny James explains that the ongoing rabies control programs offer a great example of one health implementation that is crucial for zoonotic diseases like rabies. In an effort to protect the livestock population, the pet population, and also the human population against rabies. Pearls was selected based on the number of animals because if you come to the airport side here, you will see a large amount of um, cattle in Pearls and also um, sheep, goat, you'll find a large population. So we selected that area and um, for the past two years in the pandemic, we were not able to conduct our annual rabies vaccination program in that part of the area. So it means that some of the animals up here are not protected against the rabies. Rabies is a fatal but preventable viral disease. It can spread to people and pets and is transmitted through direct contact with saliva or brain or nerve system tissues from an infected animal. The Global Health Observance of World Rabies Day began in 2007 to enhance prevention and control efforts. Private veterinarian Dr. Kenrit Carter who volunteered to assist the ministry, says the activity held on Wednesday in St. Andrew was a perfect opportunity to reflect on how rabies impacts the community. Rabies is a very um, bad zoonotic disease. It's transmitted from animals to people. And in Grenada and most third world countries around the world, rabies is an increasing problem. Here we have more of a problem with farm animals, but humans do get exposed to rabies from their dogs or cat. So if you vaccinate the animals around you, you protect yourself from being exposed to rabies. And that's the idea. And you should support this initiative because if all the animals in your community is vaccinated against rabies, it lessens the chance of you being exposed or your children being exposed to the virus. The observance of World Rabies Day on September 28th was held under the theme Rabies, One Health, Zero Death. It highlighted the connection of the environment with both people and animal. Christina John, GBN News.